this is the hold? It's awfully spacious for one. Oh my! What a lovely chest! You certainly took your time. <gasps> Yusis! I suspected it was you. How long did you intend to make me wait? I have wondered whether you would even bother to show up. trouble you made us go through to get here? There are eyes everywhere in this city. It would have drawn too much attention for you to come here directly. That was just my way of looking out for you. Perhaps you could try thanking me. Ugh. I see you're as much of an ass as you ever were. I can't say I'm surprised to find you're in good health, though. Ill weeds grow apace, after all. <laughs> I could say the same about you. Given how useless you are at anything you can't learn from a book, part of me expected we would next meet with you behind bars. Again. <sighs> it hasn't even been 30 damn seconds and I already want to kill you. <sighs> <laughs> at least you're well. That's what matters. It really is great to see you again, Yusis. The same to you. I'm impressed you were able to overcome the many ordeals you've no doubt faced to make it this far. But should I be surprised, I wonder? I've always had high expectations of you. <laughs> I doubt I would have been able to come this far if not for everyone's help, though. Still, thanks, Yusis. <laughs> this means that all of Class 7 is finally together again. And I couldn't be more overwhelmed with joy. Congratulations, everyone. Thank you so much. <laughs> You've been a tremendous part of making this happen. Thank you, Sharon. <laughs> I haven't the foggiest idea what Sharon is doing here, but I suppose it doesn't matter right now. Yusis? I've been kept abreast of your activities through the Noble Alliance's information network. So I'm well aware you've been fighting their forces across the land using that ash-colored knight of yours. As well as the fact that you've chosen not to ally yourselves with the Imperial Army, but instead fight as a third faction. <sighs> oh, has word of Valimar been getting around that much? That said, I didn't arrange for us to meet like this just to see one another again. I did so that I could make the difference between our respective positions crystal clear. What do you mean? I see. You have no intention of coming with us, do you? No! Wait, Yusis. You surely saw this coming. I'm the son of one of the most influential figures in the Noble Alliance. And as I imagine you're already aware, I've been assisting him and his provincial army in fighting this war. Well, we know, but... Is this what you believe to be your duty as a noble? Meanwhile, my brother is acting as the Alliance Force's chief of staff. And as for my father... He was responsible for hiring Jaegers to attack Ymir. Which is not only your home but the home of all the kind-hearted people who welcomed me with open arms earlier in the year. <sighs> I can only apologize. If I'd returned home earlier, then perhaps... No. I don't even have the right to do that much. Yet with that in mind, it should be clear that we can't go back to the way things were. The gulf between us is simply too vast to be filled. Our paths have parted. That is reality. Oh! 
Yusis, please. It doesn't have to be like this, Yusis. <sighs> I will guarantee you safe passage out of the city. If you deem it necessary, I can even have you escorted out by car. However, once you're out, we can no use us. I can understand why you feel somewhat responsible for what happened in Ymir. I can understand why you, as an Alborea, feel as though certain things are inherently expected of you. Actually, I should probably tell you that Dad woke up the other day. All that's left is for him to get his stamina back now. He'll make a full recovery. That... that's good news. I would have liked to pay him a visit myself. But... with circumstances as they are... Oh, don't worry about it. I'm not telling you that to make you feel guilty. I'm telling you because I don't want that to be your reason for what you're doing. Pardon? What I want to know is what you want to do, and the path you want to take. If you want to help your family because you agree with the ideals of the Noble Alliance, I won't stop you. But if that's not what you want to do, if you're only helping because you feel like you have to for whatever reason, if you're doing it because you feel responsible for what happened to my dad, which, by the way, you aren't, or if you're doing it because as much as you want to come with us, you feel like you don't have the right to, then you're nothing more than a coward who's running away. And I don't believe that's how a real Erebonian noble should act. They should do what they believe is right, and do it with pride. If Dad was here now, he'd say the same thing. Uh. It might sound cold, but he's right. Your father really would know what to say at a time like this, yeah. We're only students, still learning more about the world around us. Alone, we don't have the experience or knowledge to go around proposing solutions to the conflicts in this country. Not to the war going on around us, nor to the class divides that started it. But that's alone, and that's why I think we all need to come together as a class again. We're all inexperienced. But we all come from different backgrounds and social standings, and we each have unique experiences to share. It's only by pulling those together that we can overcome whatever life throws at us. It's worked for us during every one of our field studies. Why wouldn't it work now? Uh. <laughs> He's right, Yusis. Indeed. Reen had to remind me of that too, you know. It's always nerve-wracking for those of us who have to watch you pull crazy stunts all the time, I hope you know. <laughs> it certainly is. <laughs> I see my suspicions were dead on. No matter the circumstances, you've always been the one to blow away my hesitations. Then you'll come with us? Still, no matter what you say, I am an Alvarea. And as such, I have duties and responsibilities to fulfill. If you are determined not to back down, then we will have to settle this with a duel. Just as you and Crow did one month ago. A duel? Follow me, Reen. Our destination is Aurox Canyon. There, we shall settle this matter once and for all. I wasn't counting on this. I'd only intended to gather information on the Crimson Wings, and yet here I am, bearing witness to such a compelling scene. I've no duty to report anything I see to Duke Alborea, but I suppose there isn't any harm in watching how things unfold. <sighs> Whatever. Do what you want. I don't care. I'll just go kill time in town or something. Oh no! Not this time! You're coming with me and that's that! I'm here to support you, not babysit you! 
You're the one with a number, not me. Try acting like it. Fine, fine. <laughs> what a pain. There's a familiar face among them, so this might not be a total waste of time. Isn't this Angelica's bike? I thought she entrusted it to you after she withdrew, Ring. What in the world is it doing here? I made use of my family's influence to have it brought here from the Academy. Since then, it's been left in the hands of a skilled mechanic, so it's been well maintained. You will be riding that for our duel. You mean our duel will be a race between me on this bike and you on that horse? Partially. The finish line will be the plateau where we fought that monster during our field study. Once there, we shall begin a sword fight to determine the victor. Whoever arrives first will therefore have the advantage of more time to prepare. Okay. I understand what we're going to do. So if I win, you're coming with us, right? You're not backing out? Correct. In the unlikely event that you defeat me, I will concede and go with you. But know this, I have absolutely no intention of holding back. That bike of yours may have the advantage in terms of speed, but I know this area like the back of my hand. Do not expect this to be an easy battle. Oh, I won't. I'll be coming at you with all I've got. <laughs> I would expect no less. They're way too fired up about this. <laughs> we'll have to simply stand aside and see what unfolds. Right. We'll go and take up places along the course to watch. In that case, I will signal when to begin. Rest assured, I wouldn't dream of giving either party an unfair advantage. That works for me. How about you, Yusis? Very well. Let's begin. Good luck, Reen! Do us all a favor and knock him off his high horse. I won't let you down. I'm ready, Yusis. As am I. Now demonstrate to me the strength of your resolve. All right. Take your positions, please. Three, two, one, begin! Hang in there, Reen! Knock that jerk down a peg or two. Here. Use this path here. Everyone's really into this. Yes, I won. Your performance was admirable, I'll admit. The advantage is mine, Yusis. Let's settle this once and for all. No matter. A handicap like this will hardly pose a problem for me. Come at me, Reen! Let's do this! 
Come at me with all you have. Here I go. All right, let's do this. Now's our chance. Don't let it pass. Let's move. Too slow. Here I go. Sit. Let's move. I'm just getting started. Arcus, activate! Here I go! Alright, let's do this! No good place. Too slow! Let's move! Burn to ash! Let's keep moving.